Hey fam, and welcome back to I Love Me, You, Me. So for those of you who are finding my channel for the very first time, my name is Marshawn, and I am your life and relationship strategist. So today, guess what we're going to talk about? My channel is usually about romantic relationships, but today we are going to talk about the most important relationship right after this. All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back. So we're going to talk about the most important relationship. And I'm sure you already read the title. I left it as a cliffhanger on purpose. But I'm sure you would have already seen the title's name. So the most important relationship is the relationship that you have with yourself. Why is it important for you to love yourself? First, several reasons why. Because people will treat you the way that you are already treating yourself so they will basically treat you the way that you are treating yourself if you don't show yourself love they're not going to show you love if, if you don't show them that you actually like yourself that you accept yourself that you know who you are they're going to treat you like they don't like you they're going to treat you like they don't accept you they're going to talk behind your back another reason why you have to absolutely love yourself first is because when you don't love yourself first you start to attract the people that are more negative. So you don't love yourself. You don't really like yourself, but you expect other people to love you and like you. Doesn't work that way. <laughs> if you are very negative with yourself, you're going to attract negative people to yourself, which also goes into point number one. How you treat yourself is how they're going to treat you. So if you are attracting negative people to your life, you can't be surprised that those negative people are actually treating you in a negative manner. It all goes together because it really is your mindset. So if you feel that you are unworthy to be loved, then guess what? You will not receive love. If you feel like you are unworthy to be liked, People won't like you. It really is a mindset thing. Another reason why you have to love yourself is because nobody else is going to love you like you are going to love you. Nobody is going to love you like you are going to love you. Like, no ma'am. No sir. They not. Even your family going to let you down. Your friends are going to let you down. Your spouse, partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, they're going to let you down. But if you let you down, it's, because it's like even worse when you let yourself down. You are the only person that can make you happy. You are the only person that's in charge of your happiness. So if you are not happy, it's because you are choosing not to be happy. Because you are the only person that can make that work. Nobody else. Doesn't matter what your day looks like. Doesn't matter how your day is going. How somebody cut you off at the red light. How they gave you the middle finger. How they cussed you all the way out. How you got fired. How you didn't, uh, um, didn't get that client. You know, you didn't get that customer. Whatever it is. You cannot let people have power over your life. Because you're giving it to them. That person cut me off at the light and now I'm just pissed off. My whole day is ruined. Really though? Really? Because they cut you off at the light? Really? Your whole, I mean your whole, not, not, not a few minutes. Your whole day is ruined. You pissed off the entire day. So now everybody else around you has to deal with your little stank ass attitude. Really? Check yourself. You are the only person that can make you happy. You are the only person that can make you sad. Again, it does not matter the situation. Yes, it can be a stank a, a See, I'm getting hyped. It can be a stank ass situation. It can be a horrible situation. But nobody can take all of this from you. Nobody can take your mind world from you. Unless you are handing it over on a silver platter. It's the only way they can take it. You have to give them permission to take it. While you are loving on yourself, you will understand that you deserve and create the love and the, de and the definition of self-love that you have for oneself. So you'll understand it. 
you are the creator of it, which is exactly what I was just trying to say when I was talking about happiness. You are the creator of you deserving to be happy, you wanting to be happy, you being happy. You create all of that. The final reason that you have to cultivate and love on yourself is because nobody understands you like you understand you. What, what is going to help you in your stressful moments? What is going to help you to be happy? What is, what is going to help you to get over the anger faster? What is going to help you to just relax? What is, it, what is going to help you to just vent and get all of this stuff out? Nobody knows that better than you do. So love on yourself. Appreciate yourself. Celebrate yourself. Cultivate the love for yourself first. And when you do that, guess what? It's going to be pouring out of your pores. It's going to be pouring out of your soul. And more people are going to be attracted to this more positive energy. And guess what? A lot of those relationships that you know that you need to get rid of, they're going to slowly but surely start dropping off like flies. And, and, and then you, you might even wonder, like, whatever happened to such and such? Because it's going to be some time that passes. Or you might notice it right away, like they stop answering your phone calls. But that's a good thing. You don't see it as a good thing, but it's a good thing. Because they're really, they're getting themselves out of your way. Because all of this positivity and, and you're not dealing with the negative people and you closing doors and you doing all these things that make you feel good and happy and you making sure that you're happy no matter what. You loving all on you. You doing, man, some people just can't stand that because misery does love company. And if you are no longer mis miserable, then why do I want you in my circle? Why do I want you in my world? And sometimes all of this you're going to be like, ooh, this is what peace is like. It's so peaceful over here. Man, I can actually hear myself think. I don't have to go and be fake at these parties no more. Being around all these fake people that don't really love me at all. They be showing me how much they don't love me. But now that I'm loving on myself, I can actually see who's in my corner and who is not. And that is okay. That is a part of the growth process for yourself. And not only are you going to help yourself when you do get into a romantic relationship, or if you are even currently in a romantic relationship, it is going to help your romantic relationship so much more. Because the very things that I talk about as far as how to get your life together, all of that can go into your love life as well. All of it. You handle a little bit different because you are have this emotional attachment with this person. And you, you want your relationship to work out X, Y, and Z, right? But the lessons are the same. If you got some old toxic people out there, your partner could be toxic too. You might need to get rid of that sucker too. And a sucker could be a man or a woman, okay? So just understand that. All of the things that I talk about life definitely can apply them in your relationship and most i mean there's there's a way to switch it but the relationship stuff also can be applied to life as well because you just got to pay attention to everything that's going out there just period watch your back hunty definitely go ahead and give me thumbs up Definitely leave a comment down in the comment section below because you guys know that I love to read your comments. And this is a dialogue. It is not a monologue. And I'm trying my best to keep up with the comments, but I'm just growing and growing. And I'm just so busy outside of YouTube now that at some point I'm actually going to have to cut down on my number of videos because I'm just getting too busy, which is a good thing. <laughs> it's a good thing. But um, as much as I love to talk to you guys, I think that four videos, is, I'm starting to get over my head with these four, vid four videos. So I will keep them up as long as I can but at some point I know that I will have to decrease the number of times that you see this lovely chocolate face okay I will see you guys in the next video deuces